Hi, my name is CKJ and welcome to the first video of CKJ World on Adobe CQ5. So not going to take much time of your here we are starting with the creation of first page component in CQ5. So I expect that you are already having the XO CRXD like. So first of all we will create a folder called whatever the project name you are having. Let's create a project over here. So our project one is the new folder which is the project name of uh, our first CQ project and now we have to create two more folders inside this folder. One will be components another will be templates. Inside templates we will be creating the template which we can use in our page and inside component we will be creating components which will be called by the templates for this page. So let's go and first of all create a folder, a new template. So click on the create template, give any name to it. Let's take sample template. You can leave the other section description but if you want you can put anything it's not mandatory okay the most important thing is here resource type resource type is the place where we will be uh, giving the reference for our component so that in our page template you can use the component and inside component we can provide whatever the features we want so uh, right now we haven't created the component but let's uh, give provide a demo name for it so what I will provide it here, project one, then components. Okay, then most probably my page component will be inside another new page folder, and then I can provide a name. So let's provide a name sample component. Okay. In ranking you can provide any ranking you want if you want you can leave it as it is okay the next thing is allowed paths allowed paths uh, here actually we are giving providing the access that which folders can access this um, template or this component so basically our pages will be created inside content folder so we will be providing access to content as well as the folders or pages inside component inside content sorry so this is basically a regular expression which I have used here so it will be allowing the folders and the subfolder inside contents to access this template so here we are done with our template creation let's do the remaining work inside component inside content I will create a content like uh, different different kind of application kind of components and then inside page we will be creating the page components so we are going to create our component now here let's create a component we have provided sample component I guess is the name for this component then next thing we can leave uh, right now blank I'll tell you what are the features or what are the uses of the other folders so congratulations your first component page component is created so if you see the code here there will be a demo uh, default code which will be using the library global.csp so this is just a starting let me use the basic syntax of programming
So I haven't done any coding till now. Now I'm going to use this component in my CRXT. So this is a uh, this is a place from where we can create new pages. I will be creating a new page. Let me create on this. So can you find? Can you see the new template what we have created here? Is it there? Yes. This one is our template which we have created. So we will select this template. Now you can access your page. And it's working. So this was the first video and I hope you might have liked this. If you liked, let me know. I will provide you the more details on this video. Thanks and have a great time.